morning, fellow of the peeps. I am Scarab. You're watching Scarab Enterprises. Welcome to my channel. Thank you all for tuning in today. We are going to continue on with Wake Slam 3, and it's going to be awesome, and we're going to have a good time, and we'll see you after the intro. Ah, uh, he sees. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. I spazzed out the sneeze. It was gonna be a sneeze, but then it turned into not a sneeze. This is gonna make great for a highlight reel. All right, um, getting rid of the smokes. I want to keep the choke and the razor box. Uh, Exo I want to keep. Uh, skill book. Nah, I mean, it's it's for brawling. I don't use a brawler. Get rid of it. <laughs> oh God, that, it finally came. It finally came. Oh, <coughs> that happened. Oh my God, that was, uh, eh, it took me by surprise. What the fuck, clipping it? <laughs> Great, oh, looking forward to that. Uh -huh. All right, so read this, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right, cool, uh, read this. Alright, so we just sold a whole bunch of stuff for a ridiculous... Like, if we had more bartering skill, oh my god, we could be making a mint. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna prioritize bartering um, now, because it's just a better idea to. Uh, Alright, so I'm thinking that maybe I'll get you guys up to scratch as to where I am, and then I'll switch over to my good save. <laughs> I know we're all fucking in love with the characters that I've just created uh, on this stream and stuff, but... To think about it, my first stream was one characters, one set of characters, and then I fucked that up. So my second stream was these characters, and I'm not doing the best to do, like, leveling people up and everything. Uh, I could definitely do better, which I did in my own time, and I could just introduce those characters when we get up to it. Let's see, can we have a better sniper rifle? Sniper rifle, uh, 66 to 93. All right, so that is a better sniper rifle. The reason I want a good sniper rifle is because they become redundant really quickly. You really want to have the most powerful sniper rifle available to man, because if you don't, you die, pretty much. Otto, the cool bus driver, man. He looks so cool. Yeah, he's definitely cool, man. I love him. Hey, you chums. Welcome to Taiwan <laughs> Jones' Emporium. Shut up. No, I don't want to hear about yourself. All your sardine, Lee. You shut up! Okay, let's let's trade. Um, you've got the mods, which are useful. Uh, can I... Penetration and max damage. Oh, I did with you. Shut up! Junko Murayama, sculptor, roboticist, amateur All right. historian. It's, I'm just gonna skip past this dialogue. The Colorado Springs Museum of History. This chick is the museum curator. That's all you really need to know, and then she will join us. That's it. Like, she does not have anything interesting to say. Nothing, nothing. is None, none of it's interesting. I'm going to skip past all of this. I'm really sorry, guys, but this this is... This, this character annoys me. I don't know why. It might just be her voice, but I need her to shut the fuck up. But she makes... Um, she makes a museum at your HQ, so then anything that you collect, any... Uh, uh, interesting enemies that you kill, all that sort of stuff, are up for display at your HQ. Kind of like creates a trophy room. And that's pretty cool. But her in general, I just don't like. This man sitting clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood, a hand pressed to his belly, intestines bulge between the slats of his fingers. He won't last much longer without help. If you have a suture kit. Okay, so... <laughs> What I need to do is I need to press X there twice and Just then find a suture kit, room. press that button, right. and then select this guy and hit it, and ta-da! Now he's all better! My wound. You really shouldn't have your guts on the outside, mate. Except don't use gas blood to death without you. Let's uh, round him up and bring him back to Doc Parker. Stop talking to me, I'm trying to do stuff. Medic pack, here you go. Ta-da! 
He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. Who was Took he care now? of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Oh, Heights. so hoity toits! Kind of pissed Gotta look out for the hoity toits. Actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking uh -huh. care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families <laughs> and turning his <laughs> back on his own people. That leaves a nasty taste in my mouth. Should have asked him to wipe. Ew, says Steena. Yeah, I know. I come up with the most disgusting stuff in my brain, then I say it out my mouth, and it's brilliant. I love it. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. I meant your guy talking about the hemorrhoids. I'm used to your shit. <laughs> I am so sick of listening sure to this guy do. talk, so I'm just gonna Good leave. Enough. What do you Anything sell? For your uh, cool. I don't have any use for that. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Okay, time for us to move on, move it on. Trash? I'll take some trash. A sad banana. It's hard being soft. <laughs> I fucking love the humor in this game. It's so awesome. So it's really interesting. I like the fact that um, this game, just like the games prior to it, uh, actually gives you options when it comes to, um, like, choices and outcomes. If that makes any sense. Even at this very beginning of the game, you are given a choice as to, you know, do you kill someone or uh, do you let other people die? Now, a lot of people playing the game wouldn't even wouldn't have even realized that that was a thing. So there's someone who is on their knees about to get executed, and if you shoot at the person about to execute them, they execute them. But if you don't let that happen, you talk them out of it, then they go on and then they warn other people about your arrival. And then those people die there. Um, they've got other hostages up, up ahead. So it's interesting because there's always consequences for every action. And I like that. I like that a lot, lot. I like like that a lot, lot. Um, yep, Sheriff Daisy, problem. you. I like your style, Rangers. Mm -hmm. I asked for a favor and you came through for me. I'll always come no through for you, baby. No more in my city and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Yeah. Oh, damn, we can upgrade now. I might be able to do it. Uh, awareness. Yes, I'll take some awareness. Uh, yep. And some skills. Sniper rifle. <laughs> Sniper rifle. I'll take it. Yes, I am very happy with my purchase. Uh, attributes. I want this thing. Uh, intelligence. And then I want the skills. I don't even know what accent I'm doing. It's not even supposed to be an accent. It just is. There we go. Level 4 lockpicking. Done. Uh, I probably should have gone with small arms since we're about to get into a lot of fighting. But uh, ah, it'll be fine. One would hope. Oh, uh, barter, please uh, give me the barter. I will survive. <laughs> Can I have some good stuff? Oh, Flammenwerfer. Oh, oh, that's so cool. And we got a uh, pocket dock and armor mod. Nice. <laughs> uh, it did not sound nice. Mmm. Mm -mm. Ugh, damn fucking things. Just let me equip things if I want to. Music! Uh, for a second, I thought the music was in Seven Days to Die. <laughs> Stina, you've been playing that game so much, you think everything's in everything. Fuck me! Fuck me? Okay, is that an invitation? Fuck me! Stop saying that! Uh, tell us about the Battle of Two Butts. Ah, a tactical masterstroke by yours truly. Imagine two round buttes with a narrow oh, gorge buttes. between them. Got that picture in your mind? We lured our enemies into the gorge, then squeezed them from both sides, crushing them between the buttes. A real shitstorm, that's what it was. Hmm. I'm quite sure there was never a battle of two buttes, Mr. Nose. Sounds like a story you concocted while sitting in the outhouse. Exactly. Oh, you wouldn't say that if you've been there. I'll never forget the groan, oh. the plops of the fallen, the terrible smell. <sighs> okay, I need to tell you guys something. 
I I didn't uh, in my last when I got past where I am in this game. Uh, I, I skipped past the majority of the dialogue mainly because I wanted it to be fresh. So I completely missed this. <laughs> that is a very funny story. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it for myself. I wanted my genuine reactions for my live streams. So <laughs> this is just weird. I'm sorry. Is there a chick dancing in cargo pants behind the bar? Because if so, I am very keen on that. I love cargo pants. I think cargo pants are one of the sexiest things a woman can wear. Or a man. Either one. I'll take it all. Take it all, baby. You got a lot of titles, huh? So what can Charlie do for you? Uh, bend over and bark like a dog. She was a beast, let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight foot tall with fists like bricks. Damn. But I gave her the old razzle dazzle, took her down. Razzle dazzle? Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? That worked, <laughs> didn't it? You fell face first into a fire plug. <laughs> oh, I gotta like it. All right. Till next time, red hats. I hate that. What are you rents doing in here? Uh, this is a private party. Ah, uh, the man is huge. Scarden smells like a distillery outhouse. He sways on his feet. What we do like is fighting. And that's what this party's been missing. Great. Is that right, crew? I wasn't ready to fight these guys. I thought I had more persuasive skills. Apparently not. So let's His friends go, cheer. It's time to oh, kiss us. You're obviously way tougher than we are. We wouldn't be a worthy challenge. Don't waste your time on weaklings like us. Ha! You're right. Get out of here, you patty wastes. You ain't worth the glove leather. <laughs> hey, we beat him. I blew that Dorsey's brains out. <laughs> well, follow the call of the disco ball. Wonder if Ted is working. Prostitute. Mm, how you doing, Kendall, sexy? You're looking for some company. Oh yes, I will talk to Kendall. But first, I want to talk to this prostitute. Talk to Kendall if you're looking for some company. I will. I will. Kendall. This man's face is a crosshatch of scars. He puts on a professional smile as you approach. Hell, oh, hey, Quan. Looking for a good time, I assume. Sorry, Ken. Me and my friends are here on business today. Rangers, meet Ken Doll, Colorado Springs' finest purveyor of sins of the flesh. Yep, we're in a brothel. Ken Doll? That's my name, yes. Excuse me a moment. He turns away, hard-faced, and one of his girls leans in. You really shouldn't ask him about that. He had a misunderstanding with Mr. Brigo, and they cut off his junk. Uh. Smooth like a Ken doll. Get it? Makes him a great pimp, though. Uh. Uh, we're looking for a man named Delgado. Delgado, Delgado. You know, that name sounds really <coughs> familiar, but remembering is going to be hard work. Uh, the kind of work a man should be paid to do. I need serious cash. Any less, and it isn't worth the risk. Hundred smackaroons? Are you serious? Don't have that like much. Like I said, it's not worth the risk for any less. Cash okay, uh, let's talk about sex and time. You're not actually going to shut up, Lucia. Create in this disgusting place. Of course. Here at the Little Vegas Smooth like a Kendall, we offer yuck. a royal flush of ladies and gentlemen of the evening. Okay, I want to know about the Joker. Oh, you're brave even to ask. Okay. If you like your loving dangerous, unpredictable, possibly even life-threatening, then you might, might be ready for the Joker. But I am obliged to warn you that there are no safe words with the Joker, no boundaries, and most importantly, no refunds. If you choose the Joker, you take full responsibility for the consequences. Understood? Uh, understood. Good. And good luck. Okay. Of course. Goodbye. Is there an interesting feature about this game? Um, so we just gave Quan a, uh, a night with a prostitute. Um, and now Quan has 
a bonus. Uh, he has Ace in the hole. You sure you went all the way in with that one. Now for the next 1,170 seconds, he has a critical chance of plus 25. So sleeping with prostitutes in this game is very beneficial. Um, just saying. Playground equipment for naughty boys and girls. Okay, okay, let's talk to this chick. Stand there and don't move, kitten. I'm inspecting you. The leather-clad woman crosses her legs and leans forward, her riding crop balanced on her knee. Hmm. You'll do. It costs money for my attention, pet. Pay, and I'll show you the joys of knowing your place. Um, uh, no thanks. Then you. I just don't have any money. Um, but after I loot from all of these different places, I will have money. Sweetie. At the side of you, the giant shirtless, remarkably hirsute specimen of a man sets down his weights. He makes no secret of his interest, and he couldn't if he tried. The evidence bulges far too visibly. Oh, it's money to play with the king. Nah, I'm good. Oh. Ready for the Joker? Do people actually want to? Disgusting. A goat leisurely paces this well-decorated room. It appears even-tempered and attractively rounded. As your eyes meet, it trots up to you, a playful spring in its step. The goat is wearing a bucket around its neck. Someone has stenciled Joker $10 onto the side of the pail. Retreat hastily. <laughs> oh my epic god. See, was it worth the wait, Stina? Was it worth the wait? I think it was worth the wait. Pull out couch. This is where the magic happens. Oh, it's so wrong. It's so right. But wait, listen to this. Oh, hi. Aren't you a sexy little thing? This, uh, this is my first time. So, how do we do this? Do I just... Oh. Whoa. Okay. T t take it off? I... Uh, on my knees? Also. Uh, okay. Dildo head. It's even got balls and everything. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, that, that was the thing I made you wait for. I hope you're all enjoying that. That was, uh... Yep. That's a thing! That's a thing in this game that you can do. You can have sex with every single one of these people and go and it will give you benefits. I shit you not, every single one of those, if you, before a fight, before a battle, have sex with every single prostitute in this game, you will do really well. Because hey all of the benefits, they give need? you critical hit chance, they give you hit chance, they give you all of this crazy fucking benefits. Oh my god. It's amazing. I love it. This game is the best. I'm dying of laughter. Oh god, yes, it was worth the wait. Alright, good. All uh, the best vices Colorado has to offer. The bad bab deed nab doffer. I'm pretty sure we just said the same thing. It's fine. Cat, get out of the way. Alright, this oh, is what I'm yeah. talking about. There's a right lot of nice. glitches in the game. It's weird ones. I met a guy named Kendall. What's with the name? <laughs> you like it? Yes. He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the unwise decision to double cross Mr. Brigo. So the boys took him into the back room. And Not always the best thing? Weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall, get it? Yes, I do. What? A revolting story. Yeah, but probably a true one. At least. Yeah, he didn't like it much either. Ugh. Especially the ending. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Time to go. Till uh, next time, red hats. Don't call me red hats. Talk shop. You man, you can't keep keep it, can't keep it. Yeah. Don't throw a grenade at me. Yeah, you get him, Major Tomcat. <laughs> Useful.
Moving on. Oh, I don't have a bar up as I Okay, fine. 100 bucks. Here you go. All right. Don't tell anyone. Spread $100 over 30 rounds of blackjack while counting cards to ensure you come out ahead. We just got a ton of money. So. Mm. That was a, a bit intrusive. It was an intrusive burp and I don't approve of it. I know what I'm doing. But we're about to sleep with every single prostitute in the brothel. Uh, not right this second. But the next time we return to Vegas, we are sleeping with every single, including the goat. We are about to sleep with the goat. Um, but we'll do that when we return to Vegas. Do 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 do.